Hi, my name is Matt Philippi, and this is a demo on how to use the Postgres connector for Tableau Desktop Professional to connect to a Postgres database. You can find me on LinkedIn at CPA and Business Intelligence Architect, also on YouTube. I have a channel. You can go to YouTube and search my name and find my channel, and then also on Tableau Public. So we're going to use the Tableau connector and we're going to connect to a Postgres database on AWS and rather than launch a brand new fresh database, we're actually going to restore a public data set on a Postgres database that's available in AWS. And then we will also use the uh, PG admin database development app to look at the schema and uh, possibly do some inserts or create some objects or run some queries. Five steps. One, we're going to restore USA spending government database from the snapshot on AWS RWS. Then we're going to connect Postgres to PG Admin. Then we're going to connect Tableau Desktop Professional using the Postgres connector. Then we're going to extract some data and create a dashboard. And then we're going to delete AWS RDS so we can stop paying for the resource. A quick word of caution, we will be using cloud services, um, so not necessarily doing best practices here with regard to storage and security. I'm going to try to use the uh, T2 Micro, um, but it's your job to understand security and cost if you plan on using cloud services. Step one, we're going to restore the USA spending.gov database on AWS. I am logged in to AWS. I'm on the management console. Uh, I did log in. I use multi-factor authentication. Um, that is a security best practice, and I hope you do that. And if you don't, you're crazy. So uh, AWS actually has a site or a page here on the USA spending.gov database, and there's some steps, and so we're, we're just going to follow these steps here. So the first step is, is US East North Virginia is where we want to be. So we are currently in North Northern Virginia. And the second step is to open the RDS console. So from your dashboard here, you can click in RDS. Okay. And then we're going to go to snapshots. And then we're going to click on all public snapshots. And we can see right here, here's the snapshot. So you can actually look it up right here, but if uh, it just automatically, I think this is refreshed every night. So I'm going to click here, snapshot actions, restore snapshot, database engine, instance class. I'm going to try the T2 micro, the free tier. No, I believe that's free tier. And then I'm going to create Matt. USA, we'll just call it USA, USA Spending Mat is the, okay, VPC, subnet group, publicly accessed, so this will open up the firewall, and the, the key point always is the database point, 5432, everything looks good there, so I'm going to hit restore database instance, and then let's uh, bring up the stopwatch here and See how long it takes, and I will pause while we're waiting. Okay, at about eight minutes in, well, nine minutes exactly, it's available and ready to use. We have our endpoint here, and we should be able to connect. So it took about nine minutes. Step two, we're going to use the PG Admin database development app to connect to Postgres. You can find the PG Admin app out here at the pgadmin.org. I've downloaded it and I'm using the Windows version. So to connect, I'm going to launch it and I have it launched. And then in servers, I will create a new server. And I'll just call this USA Spending on AWS. And then the connection string here. So I need the host and I can go back to the management console here. So to find, so I'm already in here, the endpoint, but let's just say you're in your RDS dashboard. Okay. So you got to copy it here. You got to be a little careful here. So sometimes I don't copy it correctly. I got the whole port there. I'm not going to, I got the colon on the port. I don't want that. Sometimes I get a space in front of here. So 
when I go to paste this in here, I'm going to delete the port and then I'm going to go back to the very beginning here and make sure that there's not any spaces. Okay. And then that should be okay. And then, so username and password. So if, remember I said there was a page here, usaspending.gov database. So it provides that information right here. So it's root, password, and the database is data store API. So I'm going to put root, uh, password. I'll save the password. And I don't need to change the database, just leave the Postgres maintenance database the same, so I'll save it. Okay, so I've saved this object. And now it should, oh, I saved it twice, so I don't really need this one here. I'll delete that one, that was an accident. And then it just popped up. Okay, so it connected automatically. You can see down here. And then if I click the plus here, it will actually give me my databases and there's three databases in this instance here so you can see the Postgres one the maintenance and then the, here's the data store API which is the database that contains the public spending information so if I just click on that it'll connect to that database and it will show login here and then if I go back at a certain point, this will update and show that there's a connection. So if I refresh this, it says one connection. So we're connected. If I go back to PG Admin here. There's some monitoring information. And then once this is set up, you can always right click. If I'm not logged in, you can connect to this particular server by uh, connecting if it's not logged in. So here's the data store API here. And then if you want to find the tables here, you go down to schema, public, and then down here to tables, uh, usaspending.gov. So these are all the tables in the usaspending.gov. And um, sometimes in these demos, I like to do some queries, maybe add, create some objects, insert some data, but I'm not gonna do that because we already have database objects here. But if you're in PG admin and you do, then you go to tools here, actually highlight the data store API, and you can go up to query tool, and then you have a space where you can write queries in here, and then the normal, the lightning bolt or F5 to run the query, if you go out here to the site, the Postgres site, here's the manual, and there's a whole section on the SQL uh, specific to Postgres. So, but we're not going to do that uh, because we already have a bunch of objects that we can use for Tableau. Step three, connect Tableau Desktop Professional using the Postgres connector. I emphasize professional. Professional is the only one that has all the connectors in there. So I've opened my Tableau here and I've gone down to to a server and I've clicked more and I can go over here to Postgres and then uh, so I'll just start from the beginning here so the server we go out to RDS console go out to the instance it's the same endpoint we just copied over for PG admin Got to be careful again. So I actually got a space in front there. So that would not work. I don't want the colon and the port. I didn't get that this time, but the port is already in here. So that's, that's largely what a lot of these connectors are. It's the ODBC drivers and then the ports. So you can see that space that I got in there. That would not have worked. Okay. And then the database that I want is, if I go out to USA Spending here, it's data. Remember the public spending database is database store API. So I'm going to put that in here. And then again, it's the same password that we use for PG admin. Root is the username. Password is password. So I'll type that in. And it should sign in. Okay. It's always a good sign. Okay, great. And here's all the tables, the data sources. 
that we were just looking at PG admin all over here, same thing over here. So we're Tableau is now connected. Step four, we're going to create a dashboard in Tableau. So here's all the tables here, and I'm just going to go back to PG admin for a second. So I'm an auditor and by background and accountant, and I did go out to the USA.gov website here, and I tried to create some queries and tie some of this information out in here, and I didn't have any luck. And there is data dictionary in here, and there's references on the schema, but frankly, there's just not enough information about the, the database schema and how all of this stuff works. Yes, you can find definitions out here, but uh, I was excited to use this, but for me, I don't know, right now, there's just not enough information. I wouldn't create a definitive report on public spending using this. You would need a lot more information about the scheme and the structures and, and to actually be able to duplicate some of this stuff on the USA spending database. So fair warning there. So quickly, uh, we're just going to take the awards here and then we're going to take ref location, references location. And then the nice thing, it's going to create a join for us, but I don't think this, okay, it did it. Yay. So the join was on place or performance ID in the awards table and then the location ID in the uh, references location and we'll just do an inner join here that's fine and then I'm going to ask it to update now and then we're going to go out to the worksheet here and we actually have state name down here so I'll put state name in here double clicked on that gave me a uh, circle map but if I wanted to change that to a field map I could do that as well and um, so I think there's some states here without any information in here. And then we could also go down to do the number of records in the uh, color. And then so I think there's some. So yeah, number of records, 53. And actually, if we wanted to, we could go back to the. Oh, that's fine. So anyway. Uh, 36 unknown, so that reference table, you know, there's states. Um, I tried to figure out the information, but anyway, just a basic filled in map right here for right now. Step five, we're going to delete that AWS RDS instance for the USA Spending Gov. We're all done creating our dashboard. And so I did believe I launched this in the T2 micro, so... I'm allowed a certain amount of hours, but uh, I like to be safe. And if I'm not using something, delete it and then gives you rest of mind. So go back to your instances, highlight this one. So USA spending mat, and then I'm going to go to delete. And then, hey, I don't need a snapshot. I'm going to have to check the box. Then I'm going to hit delete. And then you can see it's deleting here. So that concludes the demo on how to connect uh, Tableau Desktop Professional to a Postgres database. Uh, we connected to the USA Spending.gov database. Like I said, I was a little more excited. I, uh, right now, there's just not information, enough information on the schema to actually create some real dashboards that I'd be comfortable saying uh, how I understood the information uh, and how it rolls out. So. Again, you can find me on LinkedIn, CPA and Business Intelligence Architect, YouTube. You can subscribe to my channel. There's a button in the lower right-hand corner and on Tableau Public. Thank you for listening.